Hey guys, this is Gaurav Sharma and today we're going to talk about Cisco's full stack observability. Let's, before we begin, let's talk about what is full stack, right? Earlier in the days, we never had to worry about, as a network engineers, we never had to worry about full stack because this was more of a developer specific terminology and things that they did. So what exactly is full stack? When you create an application, there are multiple tiers involved in it, right? There's a front end, there's a back end, there's an application tier, and then there's a database tier as well. So when we talk about the whole thing at one go, it is full stack. Now, what is the need for us to kind of talk, start talking about it now? And what does full stack observability mean, right? So today, everything is dependent on app. You travel, when you travel, you use app, when you're at a hotel, you use an app, you order your food using an app. If you check, you go to hospital, you have to check in using apps, right? So now the apps are becoming integral part of our lives. We, it's, it's like if with all the smartphones and everything, if we don't have an app working, that really impacts our day-to-day -day life or, or plans, right? For example, if you were to uh, imagine you were flying and you're running late to the airport like i'm always uh and then you try to check in uh, through the app and the app is not working what do you do you you're you're in trouble right so when the app is not working there are two things right the end user they you know obviously because they're so dependent on the apps it impacts impacts them heavily which in terms of impacts the reputation of, of the company or the provider, right? So as a provider, you have to make sure that your, all your apps are always up, optimized and secure. And so when, when someone says, you know, my app is not working, there are so many things involved in it. As we just talked about the different tiers in the full stack, we don't know where the problem occurred. So from a troubleshooting standpoint, when someone says our app is not working, are we looking at the front end? Are we looking at the back end? Is it the database that is causing problem? Are the servers creating some problem? So we don't know, right? There are so many things. So what full stack observability does is it provides you with visibility into your app end to end from your right from the phone to all the way across to the data center, to the server and everything. And it provides you insight as to what is going on within that data, uh, within that function and every function, right? And it provides you with actionable data. Uh, things like, hey, my your virtual machines need to be upgraded, or there's an issue with your authentication machine, or or anything from a database standpoint. So it provides you with all that visibility so that you're able to proactively uh, take actions on your application and its infrastructure so that the end users don't impa get impacted by any issues that might occur if we don't take care of these upfront. And in, in addition to that, it provides you with visibility into, uh, from a security standpoint, it also provides you visibility into all the open vulnerabilities, uh, the attacks that are coming in so that you are aware what's coming to your application and how to protect those. So similarly, how you would protect your network. Now we have to start thinking about protecting our applications as well. And when we say protecting the application, not necessarily from all the attacks, but also making sure that they are always up, they're always optimized and they're secure as well. So full stack observability provides us with all that good information so that our apps are up and the customers are happy. To learn more about full stack observability, reach out to your accounts team. Thank you.